Forest River Cherokee 264L travel trailer did not come with bed struts where we keep the cargo under the bed. So this is how I remedied the situation. Kind of a nice bed, you know, for an RV. And then it's got storage underneath. Okay, that is heavy! And, you know, how do you hold it up, for Christ's sake? They didn't provide struts. Now they provided the strut block. You know, there's a block on each side for the front strut mount, so I don't have to add that, but this is silly. This is ridiculous. Um, you know, just a little few extra bucks and, and, and they make a customer happy instead of disappointed. I might have even been happy if they'd provided a stick for Christ's sake, but you know, um, anyway, I'm going to put struts in and I'll let you laugh at me in my process. I ordered a bed lift kit from Camping World for about $32. The RV we bought didn't come with a bed lift kit, so you have to hold the bed up, put storage away and such. Uh, my wife doesn't use it because it's so heavy and things like that, so we're going to install the bed lift kit today. Bought the uh, large, not the heavy. I hope it's big enough. What I got to do. It comes with a pair of struts. You could just go buy struts and do all this hardware yourself, but you know, it comes with the brackets you need specifically for a bed and already comes with blocks uh, that's pretty cool for those of you who don't have a wood shop around so you can probably save a few bucks by just buying the discrete pieces you know making the blocks yourself but I think uh, this is pretty much the way to go for us amateurs I read through the instructions and formulated a plan for how I was going to go about installing these things, and uh, I got started. Okay, the next thing I did was pre-drilled the holes for the bracket. I used an eighth inch drill bit. Then I screwed in with the supplied screws. And later on in the instructions, they say after the bed opens and closes properly, pre drill and install the provided through hole bolts in the lower mounting bracket. Well, they didn't provide those bolts, and there was enough of those screws to fill all the holes. So I'm assuming that that must be for one of the larger bed lift kits, and uh, it wasn't provided with the large bed lift kit. Then I pre-drilled the holes for the screws that will mount to the plywood of the bed itself and I'm not going to drill into the plywood I believe they said you should but um, I think the plywood would hold the screw better if I don't I followed the instructions uh, as carefully as I possibly could I installed the lower bracket in, in multiple locations and tried to get the bed lift to go up high enough or shut properly and nothing seemed to work. I ended up taking kind of an unconventional approach to this bed lift thing. None of the methods that they suggested would give me enough height. So I need to be able to get a table and lawn chairs and things like that in there. and. All the methods that worked with this short area I had to work with wouldn't lift the bed far enough. It would have if the plywood had stopped at the edge there and there had just been a lift here. But they didn't really have a solution for this, you know, long plywood but short storage. I, you know, I'm not sure that the plywood shouldn't have gone to the edge and the lift started there, but. Since it didn't, um, I decided I would try something else. So I took what was supposed to be the other top bracket. So there's the top bracket. Kind of mounts into there. Does a right angle. And putting it down there. The one for the right side. So I have to go buy one of those to finish the other side. 
but what you can see is I get quite a bit of lift. I can get anything I want in there. And, and it's basically just a finger lift to get it up. So I think I've got it adjusted pretty good. When I get the second one in there, I hope it doesn't lift the bed, but I don't think it will because when it's down, it kind of, the struts kind of fully compress and they stay down. So I think it worked out pretty good. Uh, the one thing that I did have to do is grind down the uh, screws that were provided with the bed lift kit. They must have been assuming the 5 8 or 3 quarter plywood, not half. They came through. I didn't want to tear my mattress, so I ground those down. I couldn't find a way to order the same right angle brackets that were used in the original bed lift kit, so I found some other right angle brackets or ball plates as they like to call them uh, and ordered those got them in uh, didn't break out the video to show how it happened but I installed both of those in the lower bracket and put the the other one back up at the top on the right side got those installed and here's what happened okay it used to be a a real pain in the butt to lift the bed and find a stick to hold it up to load things in the stick could fall and hit you in the head so we bought a bed lift kit a large bed lift kit and um, I went to put it in and nothing worked really doesn't work with this forest river uh, you notice I just came up with one little toe push and uh, it holds it up just fine uh, the original bed lift kit came with this top bracket and the hardware and the piece of wood block for the top but on the bottom it came with a piece of hardware that mounts on the side well I couldn't get enough lift out of this thing mounting it on the side so I went to a trailer store and I bought another uh, strut ball with a right angle and I put it on there and uh, put another one on the other side and now I have a bed lift kit.